Hi guys and what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to get your life together. I wrote down 10 very simple and very easy things that you can do to help get your life back together if your life is falling apart. These are very easy. It's not anything like crazy. It's just little tiny things that you can start implementing into your life to make it more organized, more put together, and therefore make you more organized and more put together. So yeah, let's get started. The first one is to do dishes once you use them. So what I normally do is I will cook my meal and then as I'm eating, like if I made anything on the stove or whatever, I will let my pots and my pans and all that cool off. And then once I'm done eating, I take everything to the sink clean it, put it away, and then I'm done. Now obviously this isn't realistic all of the time. If not, always go to sleep with a clean sink. You don't want to wake up in the morning and have like dishes everywhere. It's harder to clean um, if you just let it sit there because then the food sticks to the plate and it's just like a mess. So yeah, do your dishes once you use them or if you can't, make sure you have a clean sink before going to bed every night. Number two is laundry day. Now I do my laundry every single Sunday. Some weeks I may be away and I may not be home on Sunday so I do a different day, but for the most part I do all my laundry on Sunday. So I will wash, dry, fold, and put away all my laundry in the same day. This is just very helpful because you don't want to like wash and dry clothes and have them clean and then just put them in a pile and they get wrinkly and it's like doesn't really make any sense. Do all your laundry right away. It really does not take that long. Number three is to make your bed every morning and just tidy up your room every morning. My bed is made, as you can tell. I make it every single morning and it just helps me like mentally prepare for the day. I'm like, okay, my bed is made. That means that my day has started and I can't go back to sleep. Make your bed every morning and then I also just tidy up my room every morning after I get ready. So I just put like stuff away. I do have um, a few sweaters drying on my door right here but they need to dry so i have them right there number four is to invest in a planner i love planners i buy the same one every year i mean obviously it's like a different design but i buy the same one like from the same person every year i just got my 2020 planner i can actually start using this now because it's 17 months so it actually started in august um, like of this year, but obviously I'm just starting it now in November. So yeah, I just got this. It came in yesterday. I ordered it off of Amazon and it is so pretty. I love it. The gold is like kind of like shimmery and then it also has like the gold um, rings. It just keeps me very organized. I write down everything in this planner that I have to do or else I will forget. So yeah, like this week, let me find this week. Here is like the month view. So I just X off every day as I you know, go through the days and then just write down like where I have to be on each day. And then for the week view, it's currently Wednesday, November 20th. So I am on this week, November 18th to the 24th. And I just write down like where I have to be all the time and like what I have to do. So yeah, get yourself a planner and use it because it will change your life. Number five is to make a grocery list when you go grocery shopping. Because if not, I find that if I don't have a list, I just buy like unnecessary things and I waste money, which is not good. So yeah, what I do is I normally like whenever I run out of something, I will just write it down on my phone. Like the other day I ran out of like milk, bread, creamer, and just like stuff like that. And then when I go to the store, I have everything that I need written down on my phone so I don't buy anything that I don't need. Number six is to get rid of clothing and shoes that you don't wear anymore. As you go on, like what I normally do is I go through my closet like not every day, but like, I don't know, maybe every like few days if I go through and I'm looking for something to wear and I'm like, why do I still have this? I will put it in a bag and then I'll like bring it to Plato's closet when the bag gets filled up. Always make sure that you are keeping up with your closet because like I used to have so much clothing and I never wore it and I sold most of it. Number seven is to eat healthy and drink a lot of water. I know that this isn't really like a organization kind of thing but it's more for just like your physical body and what you put into it because i know like when i eat snacks and like not so good things i don't feel as productive like i don't feel motivated to get whatever i have to get done done but when i drink a lot of water and i'm hydrated and i'm eating well then i'm like okay let's go i want to do all of this work get it all done out of the way put good things into your body and your body will do good things for you so that's that's number six, seven, that's number seven. Number eight is to work on any big project that you have in little pieces. So like 
For most of my classes, I have to make videos and they're a lot of work. So every week I will kind of put down like what I want to accomplish. Like for that video, let's say I have three parts to a video. First week I want to do the first part, second week, second part. Split up your big task into a smaller task so that it will be much easier to complete. Number nine, I actually really need to do this. Um, clean your car if you have a car. If you don't have a car, then skip this part. I have so much crap in my car right now and I'm waiting to clean it until next week because I'll be home for Thanksgiving and we have like all of the car cleaning stuff and like the vacuum cleaner back home. So I'm gonna do that when I get back home. But yeah, clean your car, keep it clean. I love having a clean car. Like I keep it clean most of the time. Right now it's just very messy. So yeah, I need to do that. And the last tip that I have for you guys is to make smoothies at home. Don't waste money on like smoothies that are very expensive that you can make at home. Like I have a, a Nutribullet or a Ninja Bullet. I don't know which one I have, but I have like a blender and you know, put your fruit in it, put ice in it, and then like, I don't know, juice or whatever, whatever you want, and make your own smoothie, save your money, and you know exactly what's going into it, which also goes into the healthy, like, eat healthy part of this video. So, yeah, that's everything that I have for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are just very small things that you can do just to keep your life on track and just keep yourself put together. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to check out my second channel. I make vlogs on my second channel all the time and yeah make sure to check that out i'll have it you know up in the card wherever it is up there and down below so yeah go check that out hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys in my next video